welcome 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 it's the day of my shop launch and my sticker book launch and it's very early in the morning hence weird lighting and shadows behind me kids are getting ready to go to, go to school so the only thing I'd say is if you're going to launch a sticker book or a product maybe it's best not to launch your website at the same time because if you're a nervous person like me that's a double whammy as far as nerves is concerned <laughs> And also I'm in a different time zone so I have no idea if when I launch at the middle of the day for UK which is very early in the morning in America especially I'm not saying that everybody's going to come from America but you know what I'm saying then I'm not sure that many orders will come in and then they might all come in overnight I don't know anyway I thought I'd film today so that you can see how I get on so I've got some early orders to put in which are like gifty orders that are going to go to people that hopefully are going to do some flip throughs for me you know who you are and then I'm going to do some more wrapping because I've only got about six sticker books wrapped and I'm hoping that I'll need more than that and I've, I've wrapped some other products and put them in bags and stuff but it might be quite handy if I do a little bit more as well so I'm good to go um, then yeah I'll keep you updated anyway, I'll keep you in the loop, you'll be able to see me working away here I'm sure, and thanks for joining me. Oh, new nails as well, Valentine's nails, you know, why not, let's go for bright I say. You probably saw that address, I probably had to just kind of do something about that, so anyway, I've got my weighing equipment here, so what I'll do is I'll get my first couple of orders ready, these pre-orders, weigh them on here, get the postage done and then get those out of the way before any, you know, before I hit the world, you know what I mean? Get those two orders out before I hit the world. Yeah, let's do that now. So, it's those two. by bitter experience that you do the postage after you've got everything in there not before okay. it looks nice yeah hope you can see this okay so i'm gonna just do that up there like so not quite fit with the washi tape in there but it's good enough i think okay yeah that's fine just protects it a little bit let's get my envelopes Well, there is on there, but everything has to be perfect, you know. I don't think it's anything to worry about. Right, okay. Stop fussing, Nairi. I'm fussing now. Okay. This will have to go as a small parcel rather than an envelope, even though it's in an envelope because it's too, it's too it's too high not kill my orchid. Okay, three, six, three, five. I like these envelopes, they're very, very nice. Because actually that would be handy to have some stickers. Cheaper labels to do that with though, because I can't do that for everyone. But it just means I don't get mixed up with anything, doesn't it? Alrighty, okay. I've had a nice cup of tea poured up to me, so that's so good. You know, a lot of you are not going to be in the UK. Hopefully there'll be lots of you who are, but there'll be a lot of you who aren't. And from my experience of ordering sticker books from around the world, I pay sometimes more for the shipping than I do for the sticker book. And I just think if you're just going for one sticker book, so I've only released one at the moment, so you can only do that. Obviously you can go for other products, but you might not want them. And you don't want to pay more for your shipping than you do for your book. And that would put a lot of you off, I thought. So I set up the international uh, standard rates and I thought they were really good. I would 
I was really surprised at how low they were. And then the cyber attack happened for um, from Russia to us with love. So I've had to go into Shopify and change all the rates. So I haven't, so I'm just saying, I have not gone up to the full rate that it could be. Yeah, I'm being careful not to go too high with that. So I've just been spending ages doing that. I've got a nice cup of tea. And now I'm gonna show you the label printer. So I will put the label printer in my affiliate links below, in the description below. So if you're thinking of opening a small shop or you do have one and you don't have one of these, brilliant, fabulous. It's fabulous. So I'm just gonna print the labels out now and get them up. Hopefully you won't see addresses. Seriously, the session expired because I had to go in and change all the rates, didn't it? So anyway, I'm gonna get this filled in. I love some of these American addresses. They sound so grand. And it tells me there's one here, order ready for printing, and that wasn't there before. I had three orders here ready to dispatch. One of those I've got a refund on because of the post situation earlier, and two are out in my front porch ready for collection. So I don't have to go anywhere, and this one's ready for printing. Two things are gonna come out of that printer. I might have to try and cancel that other, other payment or pay, and I'll be even more panicky. But everything's okay. And a lot of that's about international shipping, I think, and just not you know, being used to that thing, having customs declarations and special numbers and codes that have to go everywhere. So it's a bit snug, isn't it? But that's because the washi tape is in there. But because that is as thick as it is, it can't be a, an envelope. Whereas if it was just the book, it could be an envelope and then posted just a lot, lot less. And to be honest, two sticker books would be less. So it's a slight problem that my washi tape is boxed, but I did like it like that. I didn't really, I didn't like the other version of it, but I might have to reconsider that in the future, I guess. So once I've got these labels on, I'll know who it is and I don't need to worry about having any other stickers on here. So that's the postage. Now I've got declarations here as well. Let's go on there. And get that one off. And put one on the back which has kind of like the shipping address and what it is in there but it's also got my address on there as well mm. okay.
think it's around about quarter past ten. Apologies for the glasses, but I've got very tired eyes. I, I, I look worse than I am. I get like eczema around my eyes and I rub them and whatnot. So I've wrapped about 20, over 20 books, I'd say. And they've gone in the big organza bags, but I haven't put the cards in yet. And I've got about 12 washi wrapped. So who knows, I might do a little bit more in a minute, but getting a bit bored now with that. Um, I've got about 12 bags of lace wrap. I feel like, um, yeah, there could be a lot more done, but it's really, really hard to know how many I'm gonna to need to do. And I don't wanna be silly. I don't wanna to have too many wrapped because I think if they're on the shelves too long, they'll get damaged. So yeah, so let me know in the comments anyway, what other products you'd like to see on my website. So I'm gonna show you my website in a minute. It's not live yet, so by the time you see this video, of course it will be, um, I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like on the website before it goes live, so I can see my glasses reflecting, um, and how, how you can see that it's not live, and then what you do to make it go live. And then later on, you'll watch me do that, <laughs> and by that point, I'm telling you, I'm going to be very nervous. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I do not know. I've run a business before, not this sort of business. There was like loads more risky than, than this in a way, in many ways. But I think it is because my art is involved in this. And I think you feel a little bit more pressures around your stuff. And also I'm older, a lot more water's gone under the bridge. Maybe not as confident as I used to be. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, um, where was I going? Yeah, so a few more products that I want to put on my website, which I'm gonna to talk to the designer about with my art is journaling cards, like a little pack of journaling cards, maybe three that's got some of the images on from Lazy Afternoon sticker book. And, you know, keep, keep the price reasonable so that it's accessible to people. Maybe a set of postcards, which is quite a nice thing that you can put in, say, art and craft shops locally. I could, could put those in there. I'm not sure how useful people would find that, but if you like that idea, and they could be different from the journaling cards. And then there's pins, uh, enamel pins. Now, I think enamel pins would lend themselves really well to my art. I can see several images that could go off to be pins, and I have got in touch with a manufacturer for pricing. However, it's not purely a journaling and planning type product. It's kind of quirky and you can put it on your pouches and your pencil cases, your bags, but it's not purely that, you know, that type of thing. And I'm waiting for a big paperclip dangle thing with lots of kind of jewels and stuff coming off of it. And that's, that's on its way kind of, but do is show you my website and show you how it's password protected and what it looks like so really really cute cup and no these aren't my images although yeah some of them look a little bit like them and um, had it for Christmas really love it so see you in a minute but hopefully we'll go out to everybody which I've set up and scheduled um, up the top there so that's that now let me just show you um, so here we have um, the you know the customizable area for the email, and you can see their current theme. So these are other themes I've been worked on. It looks like it's live, but it but it's not, and you can preview it here. And you can't do anything else here. Okay, so that's not how it goes live. So then you've got your online store as password protected, manage password, remove password. Now, when I first started working on this, because this is my version down here, before I had Hannah to help me, my designer to help me, um, I didn't realize that if you took the password off, then it goes live basically, which is a bit weird, I think, and not that obvious. So when I remove this password, it, the, the website should go live. It's as simple as that and as scary as that in a way. And later on, I'm going to have you with me when I go live. And um, yeah, you will see the moment, how exciting that will be and have it ready for that. But I kind of feel like it's, <laughs> I can't foresee everything and do everything. And this is why I was saying in the beginning of the video, it's probably better to set your website up first get that going, get get used to orders and stuff like that before you launch a big product because with me, it was more the sticker book and creating the art and creating the sticker book and then realizing, well, I've got a thousand copies to sell, so I need to get a really good website up and running. I mean, I had that nearly ready before the sticker books arrived, yes, 
but it's a double whammy of nerves in a way, isn't it? Um, and I've not set up an Etsy shop or anywhere else yet because I want to see how well this does just with a website and then I'll go from there. And if it doesn't sell enough, so I think I need to sell about 500 to break even. So I obviously need to sell nearly all of them really to, to do well out of it. But also after about uh, five or six months, I'll be thinking about reprinting diff a different sticker book. So I need it to shift because I don't really want say over 500 of these books and then I order in another thousand of another book because at the moment I'm storing at home and whilst I've got a, like a gardeny shed thing outside and I've put some products out there that I trust, I probably will never put my sticker books out there because I don't trust the temperature out there and I just don't, yeah, I don't trust it. So I'll see you a bit later when I go live. Ah. All right, the time has come. Ah. Oh, I'm so nervous. I'm going to go live quarter, quarter to one because I just thought, well, I've got all the emails going out at one o'clock. So what if I do this and I'm not live? Then everybody gets an email saying I'm going live. So I'm like, do you know what? 15 minutes isn't going to make any difference, but it's going to make a big difference to me with my nerves. <laughs> okay. So, no, let's do it. Let's do it. So I'm going to check on my mobile then. I'll be able to check whether it's gone live. Just put Creative Kingfisher in here and that says opening soon so that should that should change in a minute so oh gosh uh, okay um let's come out of here try again yes We've gone live, okay? Celebrate, 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 celebrate. So um, I was just downstairs having my lunch. I was just, oh, honestly, just getting more and more nervous. Silly, isn't it, really? You know, what's gonna happen? It's just a shop. Woo, I certainly need to have my coffee now. So it's about half past two, and I've had four orders come in already since one o'clock. The thing that I found the most nerve wracking was actually knowing if I'd gone live or not, because I could tell I had, but I really need there not to be any more just for a minute, because the orders that have come in have been like more than one thing, and they've been for international track and sign shipping, and also they've been different things as well. So people have, as I thought they would, if they're buying a sticker book, sometimes they're popping something else in the basket, which is great. That's what I thought they would do, and it makes shopping a bit more exciting. So, yeah. But people are just so supportive. So, thank you, Donna, for publishing a video. Thank you for Lisa, Lisa Marie for offering to do, like, a giveaway and stuff around my shop. Just so kind, all of you. I don't deserve it, but I really appreciate that level of friendship because it can be a little bit isolating. I'm sure people on YouTube, Instagram, or who have shops and stuff know exactly what I mean by that. So I'm gonna go and have my coffee. I'm gonna watch Donna's, uh, Planning with Donna's video that she's done. She's done a spread using my stickers. So if you've not seen, seen her channel, go and follow her. And I'll come back maybe in another couple of hours or maybe toward the evening and let you know how I'm doing. So whether that was just the first flurry of orders and then not much happens, or whether they trickle in or whether they flood in I'll let you know I'll let you know how it goes but thank you for watching and I'll see you this evening hi I'm under uh, no disillusion that I probably look worse for wear I feel, I feel I feel like I've lost my tea now what have I done with it anyway guys um yeah wow so it's now it's now half past four so I launched the website at one o'clock so as I say that was very early in the USA not very early here of course midday but a lot of my customers I think will initially come from the USA so I've had eight orders so far so I guess that doesn't sound like very much but it's I, I've only had say a 15 minute break and in the rest of the time I've literally been processing orders you know get all the products together and things like that so I'm really happy with eight orders when I think about the fact that 
some people haven't possibly got up yet. They're not, it's possibly not even daytime. Yeah, I'm gonna need to keep an eye on this. And I think what I'll do is I'll take a break now and just not look at it at all for like half an hour. And then I'll definitely do a few hours this evening because otherwise I think I'll be totally overwhelmed by it tomorrow. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed that, my day of my launch. And um, if there's any questions, then leave them in the comments below. You might have more specific questions about launching a shop. Um, I'll try and answer them if I can and if there seems to be a video that comes out of it great if not I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you on my channel which is Creative Kingfisher it's all about decorative planning watercolour artwork and junk journaling see you soon bye